Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing well as we're preparing for the Christmas season right now. Uh, we're just a few days before Christmas here at the time of the uh, this video posting. Actually, Christmas is one week away today. Uh, so if you're looking for that last gift for someone or you're uh, wanting to do something for someone special, uh, this is something that's pretty cool and uh, will make everybody happy when they know that it's uh, handmade and it's something that... Um, is useful not only uh, just something you sit around your house but you can use it so in this video I'm going to show you how to make this here this is a amplifier a wooden amplifier for an iPhone um, now you can make this and you'll see in this video how you can change it and alter it um, to suit your needs to whatever phone you have or iPod whatever you may want to use um, but I have an iPhone XR which is the 10 with an otter box and that fits perfectly right on here um, and plays through these speakers out these two holes in the bottom here if you can see that in the camera here these two holes into this chamber and it'll come in through and circle around swirl around and come out these holes right here so like I said in this video we're gonna go out to the shop here and I'll cut to that footage and show you how easy it is to make this product here and the cool part about this is it will cost you less than ten dollars to make this now you can paint it stain it whatever you want to do that's not including the stain or the paint but the wood and everything involved with making this is less than ten dollars and uh, it's a very cool outcome uh, to what you uh, for what you get so it's a cool outcome for what you put into it so let's cut to that footage now and I'll do my best to show you how you can make one for yourself Alrighty everyone, to get started here, I want to show you some of the things that I'm going to be using to build this uh, wooden amplifier for your iPhone, Android, um, Samsung, whatever you may have. Uh, went to the store, this cost me less than $10 for this piece of pine board and these dowel rods. These are 3 quarter by 36 inches. And they're poplar, and this is pine. I wanted to get pine and pine, or poplar and poplar, but they didn't have it, so I'm just rocking what I got. So this is three quarter an inch square dowel, three quarter by three quarter by 36 inches in length. And I really don't need all of the second one, but I'm gonna need uh, a partial of that. So they didn't have four foot. So two three foot dowel rods, square dowel rods, and one, one, or it's a half inch. Um, it's basically a, a one by six. It's a half inch though, not one by, it's not three quarter. It's half inch, half inch this way, five and a half inches this way by two feet in length. We'll cut that in half. This will be the front, this will be the back, and these will be the pieces that will lay in here to actually make up the amplifier. So some of the tools I'll be using here are, I have my little pancake air compressor right here. None of this is necessarily um, required to do this project, just makes it easier into what I have, I'm gonna use it. So I have this, which is going to power my air gun, my trim nailer. And I have an inch and a quarter, or I'm sorry, inch and a half brad nails, some wood glue, a two and a half inch hole saw, my drill, a tape measure, some clamps, and a router. And um, the router is totally up to you. I'm going to use the router on the holes. Um, well, it's going to be here and here. But on the holes of the uh, amplifier. Um, once I drill them out with the hole saw here, that'll that'll basically drill this out and this out, nice clean hole. And I'll take the router and you can take whatever bit you want um, to decorate that edge. Um, but So that's optional. Like I said, all this stuff is kind of optional. You do what you want to do. You can do it with a hammer, you can do it with screws, you don't need wood glue. This is just what I found works and this is what I'm going to do. So anyway, we'll start by actually making our cuts and uh, I'll take you over to the miter saw, cut all this stuff and I'll explain to you the measurements of what I'm going with here. Alrighty, let's go to the saw. Alrighty, everyone. Now you can uh, see after I got these pieces cut, what exactly I'm trying to accomplish here. It's kind of starting to look like something here. Uh, basically, this piece here, this half inch piece, which is identical to this one that I cut down out of the two foot piece. <clears throat> excuse me. That is 12 inches in length. Okay, so I started by cutting this dowel to 12 inches. 
Then I cut this one. This is for an iPhone uh, XR. This is an iPhone XR with two speakers with an OtterBox. So it's a pretty big phone. This is my cell phone. 12 inch dowel rod this way. This is a four inch piece here, a four inch piece here. And again, four inch piece here, four inch piece here. And then I came down with a two and a half inch piece, two and a half inch piece here and here. This here is an inch and a half and an inch and a half. And this is a three quarter, basically a three quarter inch cube. It's three quarter wide, three quarter inch this way, three, three quarter, yeah, three quarter inch tall. Um, just basically three quarter all the way around. So as you can see, my phone will sit right onto there and the music will play out of these two speakers or whatever you're listening to, YouTube, music, whatever you're doing. Come out of these speakers, come down through here into this chamber and will swirl around and come out the holes that we're going to drill in this piece here. But we'll actually have to cut this as well, which I'll show you that a little bit later on in this video. But I just wanted to show you here and I'll put a list on the screen right now. That has all the specs of what you need to do this here, as far as all the measurements and everything like that, um, that I just went through um, to build one for this phone. Now you can make it custom, you can make it whatever in the world you want, however big you want it, however small you want it. Um, this is just what I found. I did Christmas gifts uh, two years ago. I made these for a lot of people and people really seem to like them. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is now I got all these pieces cut and laid out. I'm actually going to just uh, put some glue on the other side of each one of these pieces and just tack them down for now. Uh, I know I have inch and a half brads here, but I'll probably go down here to my uh, brads and grab some shorter ones, just to throw some tacks in here to hold this. And then I'll move on to this side. So uh, we'll get right to that. together I'm going to concentrate on this piece right here so what we're gonna have to do is drill out two holes for the speakers and we'll have to notch this out to accept this piece right here so let's start marking for that and get right to it what I'm gonna actually do is put it right here like this and just make little marks here and here that I can then transfer with my square, the square right like this, mark it there and there. So I have my two, if you can see it there, marks right there. That should, in theory, line up right there and there. And it looks pretty good. So now what I'm gonna actually do is come down here. It looks like three and a quarter, three and a quarter. Hey, we're pretty, Pretty darn square. So we'll lay that on here. I'm trying to get you to see this here. And down three and a quarter, and it was just a hair strong, so we'll go there, there, so you can see it. Three and a quarter and a hair strong. Just double check our measurements. So now, I'll take my speed square, and find my top mark right here. Slide it over to that, lay it down, try to find it here, and bring it down, like that. Actually, let's go ahead and get this guy just out of the way for now. Find my other mark here, bring that down. Now I have my mark right here for coming down, come down, so what we'll do is we'll go across for that okay there right here you see us in the light this is what we have to cut out and then we'll come over here we'll mark them a while hole and hole 
So that will be for our speaker and speaker. And that is where the hole saw comes into play. It looks pretty good, right? Right about there. So let's just say, it's not, nothing scientific about this whatsoever. So we'll say that's prior center mark. So let's find what that is. Hey, not bad for an eyeball. Right here's two inches. So we'll figure two inches in. And oh my goodness. That is like right on center there. So two and three quarter inches up, two inches over. So let's transfer that over to this side, two inches over. And two and three quarters of an inch up. Right there and right there are where our speakers are gonna go. What I do is we're gonna cut this out. We'll go over to the um, go over to the scroll saw, cut that out, and then we'll drill these out. So let's go over to the scroll saw. There we go. Now you could cut this out with a uh, jigsaw, uh, coping saw, a hand saw, <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to use. Um, the scroll saw just seems to work the best for me uh, to get pretty nice and even cuts. So let's go back over the bench and see how this fits and then drill out for our speakers. Got our piece here and see how it fits. Oh man, like a glove. <laughs> Hey, you're starting to see what I'm what I'm getting at here. And ignore my little marks up here out the fill with putty because I made a, a dumb move there. <laughs> anyway, um, I put this piece out over here. Duh. Now I know that works. Let's go ahead and clamp this down to the edge of my bench so we can drill these out. There we go. I don't want to push too hard. I don't want to break this. This is only a half inch thick. Drill. Take it off a hammer drill. Okay. Find my hole here. Okay, hole is drilled. Now let's go to the other side. There we go. Okay, we'll get the pieces on here just like this. And it looks like it's gonna work out just fine. So we'll clamp it together, flip it over, and shoot the nails in from the back side so that way you don't see any nails in the face of this guy here. When you put wood glue on, I'm guilty of this. Um, you definitely want wood glue on a nice, clean, flat surface, but you don't want to put too much on because you're going to have tons oozing out. And uh, I'm by no means an actual woodworker, or carpenter, or anything like that. I'm just a hobbyist that uh, likes to tinker with things and put things together and do silly things like this. So again, I just put a little thin bead on everything. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about it oozing out and whatever it does just wipe it off and when you go and sand the edges if you choose to do so you can clean it up then Okay, now that we have this tacked on here, I threw one in the side here you see it's starting to hold itself, but I want to get some in here. So flip this over facing me. Like this, and put some in.
Okay, so now I put some nails in these spots here. So now, as you can see, right here, I have my phone. I'll sit right like this and play music. And the music will go down in through those holes, as you can see right here. And we'll come out through. Here, let me show you this. Let me show you this way here. You see, there's no light. But if I shine the light down in there, you can see the shine the light over in here. Hopefully you can see that the it's open all into this chamber. Now you can stop right here. You can just say, hey, that's good enough. I don't need to do any more. Um, what I'm probably going to do is, again, like I said, take a router and, and actually route these these guys out here to clean up and make a nice, a nice uh, finish on this edge. And probably take my sander and just clean up these edges a little bit and then we'll paint or stain it. But let's move on to uh, finished product and show you how it sounds and how it actually works. Alrighty, just got done staining this guy. And I routed out my edges, as you can see here. Routed all these edges, routed in here. Turned out pretty nice. I'm not gonna make you sit there and watch how I route, routed the edges and sanded everything and stained it because you can do whatever you want if you decide to make this thing. You can make these holes bigger, smaller, up, down, left, right, uh, route different edges on here, paint it, stain it, whatever you wanna do. Uh, the sky's the limit, um, whatever you wanna do with this thing. But just so you can see, it sits, my phone sits right in here, just like so. Hello. <laughs> you see me there. Um, it sits right in the, uh, right in there. And we'll go inside here. We'll play some copyright free music and let you hear what it actually sounds like um, playing out of here. It is definitely louder. It sounds pretty cool and it gives it more of a stereo sound. Um, all without any wires, any electricity. Um, it is completely unplugged. <laughs> Alrighty everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. You saw how well this works and how well the music plays through it. Uh, it is definitely louder. I hope it comes through clear on the camera. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit consider subscribing, hit that like button, and uh, hope you have a Merry Christmas. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.